Hey everyone, Laura Pollock here. Um, I wanted to welcome you to another YouTube and it's been a long time since I've done one, but I'm very excited today because it's like Christmas and it's not even June yet. I have in front of me a box of Blue Earth, a full set, and I'm going to do an unboxing. So I've never done it before, so you can laugh if you want to, because I'll probably make a whole bunch of mistakes and faux pas. But the fact of the matter is, I don't think I've ever met a pastel that I don't like, but these happen to be some of my absolute favorites. So I hope you'll stay with me, join along as I show you how it comes to me. I haven't even cut it open yet and show you why I love these pastels so much. And as any of you know that have taken any of my workshops, I show you exactly why. And I'll do that again today on this unboxing. They're just incredible pastels and I've really fallen in love with them. So hang in there, here we go. I'm gonna change the angle so that you get to see the box and stay with me. So here I go, here's the box on my desk. And I put a ruler on it just to show you the size of what you can expect. It's a 30 by 20 box, solidly packed, a little bit over 20. I'm gonna take my Exacto, it was sent FedEx. And this is what I found at my front door. Here we go. So as you can see, it's beautifully packed and it comes in a wooden box. And what's interesting is the wooden box is incredibly solid and it's by Maybeth, Mabeth. I don't even know how to pronounce that properly. But what's fabulous about the box is it's so solid and it makes it wonderful for you to go ahead and take these pastels with you to a plein air event, to a workshop, and the box is made in Italy. So well done. So here it's clearly made specifically for Dakota, who is, I believe, the sole distributor in the United States. What's nice too is how securely it's put together. Do you see this latch here? And it keeps it closed especially if you're going to be traveling with it. It's got a great handle on it. It's quite portable. And watch how they brilliantly put this together. I'm just unlatching the side here, and this slides open. But this isn't the only way they protect it from getting bumped and damaged. But then they go to another level. This is a foam padding Ooh, are they pretty? And I keep this off to the side. This is the full set, but they understand that when some of these wear down a little bit, we're gonna need to amend it and put some more here. So these little areas here in the foam are for extras. And here we go. It's, they give you instructions. It says peel back and remove the top layer of foam to expose the pastels. Now this is a little tricky, but it's quite doable. I generally would start over at this side and I push down with one side here while gently pulling up. I don't wanna to touch the pastels necessarily, but push down the foam. See, I might have a little bit of cracking if I touch the pastels and I did do that. So gently and slowly, I will take the foam and start to peel it away. And I will keep this foam because it's great for repacking. I don't necessarily repack this box this way, but I use it for, it. let's say I'm putting together a smaller travel set of Blue Earth, then these fit perfectly. I have very little to zero breakage. Now I have gotten so many pastels in the past where I have to call up the distributor and say, hey guys, these all came in broken. Can you either take them back, resend me some that aren't? And part of the reason that I like these pastels in particular are the shape. And you can see over here how gorgeous they are, that I particularly love Blue Earth, and especially for artists that are coming in sort of new to pastel, 
is because of the organization of it. I've had a number of wonderful mentors and teachers that basically say, you really need to organize your box by hue or color and value. And what's incredible about what Blue Earth has done is they've taken that guesswork for you out of the equation. And it makes my painting in particular a little bit faster and more intuitive because when you get in the moment and you get in the groove, the last thing you want to do is be searching for the exact color. Here, it's it's just given to you, it's handed to you. Yes. And one of the exercises that I love doing is called color crossword. When I'm working with students, basically I say, let's, let's make sure we have the right value. If I start with a green, for instance, and I want the same value, all I have to do is go across in the same number up, and I have the same value. And let's say I want to do some broken color, I can do that same thing all the way down the row, and even in opposing chroma. It is gorgeous. It makes it look like candy, but the organization is what makes it absolutely beautiful. You have the warm grays, you have the cooler neutral grays, and of course you go in the blues, the greens, and then the true greens, and then the opposing colors right here. So it's really quite wonderful right here. And I'm gonna pull out a piece of probably tinted UART paper. I'd like to tint it black and show you how I use these pastels in particular. So here I am with the open box of the Blue Earth, and you can see it almost shines like it has light on it already with these lovely high values. And here I've taken a reclaimed 8x8 UART that I've tinted black. So what I'm going to do is just make some marks and show you a little bit about how the values make it so easy. And I'm going to pull out a value of green that's second up from the bottom. And I'm just gonna make a nice mark on the wide side. So one of the reasons I love the um, Blue Earth is because of the shape of it. We have these very sharp edges and you can make very, very beautiful thin lines on it. I'm going to go over a few in the same row and I'll be able to mix those values seamlessly and beautifully. I'll continue to go over a few more and you'll be able to see that I've got the value already taken care of. Now I just have to play with my color. Or let's say go into a magenta right here that is three up from the back, from the bottom of the darkest value. And take a look at some of these edges. They're just, crispy and sharp. One of the things that I have experimented with is to just make some really beautiful marks just on those edges that are very hard to do with some other pastels. So I will take either the long side or the short. It just gives me a lot of um, flexibility for what I want to do. And I'm just sort of pushing it in and I get this beautiful mark. So I'm gonna make a wide mark on it now. And I'm gonna to continue to go through the same value, but all the way over. And you can see how it's so easy to play with your values and get that broken color that you've always wanted to get. I'll even go into the oranges here. And what's nice is the magenta and the oranges or rust colors will play beautifully together. And I can continue over even into the yellows and ochres. It has taught me a lot about color, just how beautifully these will all sing together. The other thing that you can do, I'm going to a lighter value now in the orange, is just some of the dots that you can make and some of the marks, again, more like this, I'm gonna try again to make another mark like that. I'm just sort of rocking it a little bit and I can get a very clean, crisp mark that I can't get with a round pastel, 
which is why I absolutely love these so much. And when I'm really searching for a color or a value, this has it all set up for me. So it makes it so much faster and easier. The other reason I like to paint on black is because the drama of it. And um, you get this beautiful gradation, but I'm now really going to press a little bit harder here and get a lighter color and value right at the edge here. I can get some very beautiful clean marks. I put it down, I push forward, and I get this lovely gradation. Almost like when a pianist is at the keyboard and hits hard and then lets up softly, you get this beautiful drop off of the sound. And you can do the same thing with these pastels. Just taking the edge, pushing it forward just a hair, and I get an incredible mark. I really can't get those with a lot of others. And maybe it's just me and my love affair with these Blue Earth, but I happen to enjoy them tremendously. So I hope that you've enjoyed it, this little unboxing and a tiny little demo. I believe that these are absolutely wonderful pastels and very well worth their, um, their cost, their price. They're an incredible investment in your own art. And they will, I think, propel you forward in your ability to manage your color and your value simply because of the way they're organized. So happy painting. I hope you consider purchasing these Blue Earths because they are my faves. And one of my favorite sayings is, you can never have too many pastels. It's an addiction. And she who wins with the most, or dies with the most wins. And my goal is to win. So there you have it, an unboxing, a tiny little demo of mark making. And oh, I didn't do one other thing. You can do some really beautiful swirl types of marks with the variation of the edges on it. And I just wanted to do that. Just had to get that in. So thanks for joining me. I hope you got something out of this and let me know. Let me know if you uh, end up buying some Blue Earth and how you like it. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed and I think they're really an amazing value. So signing off for now, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you soon.